Uh, thank you so much for coming. Um, okay, yeah, I don't think, yeah. Okay, let me get started. Uh, thank you. Uh, here we are, Korean folk paintings. Um, should I do it full screen or should I do one by one like this? Okay, let's get started. Um, I want to share some history about Korean paintings. Um, Wait, was it better to do it full screen? Um, I'll just leave it like this. So there are some categories of Korean paintings. Um, uh, for example, there are Taoist paintings, Buddhist paintings, Confucian paintings, decorative paintings, and more. <clears throat> the earliest Korean paintings are from more than 2,000 years ago. The Goryeo period in Korea from 918 to 1392 had paintings mainly in the style of Buddhist scroll paintings. Um, there were many influences from Chinese styles. Before the Joseon dynasty, the primary influences on Korean painting was Chinese painting. This influenced Korean painting, but with Korean characteristics in landscape painting, facial features, and Buddhist topics. Also, Korean painting emphasized celestial observation in the developing Korean astronomy. It is important to note the Do Hua So. It is the Royal Artist School or Academy of Korea. The Do Hua So was established in the Goryeo period in Korea, but it is known as the administrative office of Joseon drawing pictures. It was run by bureaucrats of the court and it gave exams to artists. After the Joseon dynasty, Korean painting developed into many other genres and traditions. For example, monochromatic black brushwork, sometimes with color, genre scenes, bird and flower painting, colorful folk art called minhua, Buddhist devotional scrolls called Tenghua, festival arts, and others. Interestingly, some paintings of Korean folk art can be described as genre painting. What is genre painting? It is the depiction of everyday life of ordinary people who are performing common activities. This is the kind of Korean painting that I am interested in studying and copying. In some genre paintings, the scholars are depicted. The male scholars would wear traditional hats or other rank hats with scholars' monochromatic robes. They might be pictured with teachers or mentors. They might also be in a setting of tea houses near mountains or near mountain lodges. What about Korean minhwa art? Different from genre art, there is also minhwa. Its main subject is the tiger. This is because Korea used to be the land of tigers. Minhwa is art made from the common people of Korea. Other subjects in minhwa may include dragons, bird and flower paintings, landscapes, and others. Now I want to introduce some famous Korean painters. Some famous Korean painters in Korean folk art may include Kim Hong-do, Jong-sun, Yoon Do-so, 
Shin Yun Bok, Kim Tuk Shin, Zhang Song Up, Yi Kyung Yun, Kang Se Huang, and Chi Eun Yong. First is I introduce Kim Hong Do's paintings. He was a full-time painter in Korea's Joseon period. He likes to portray the everyday lives of ordinary Korean people. Here is one of his paintings. Jong Sun. His works have ink and oriental water paintings to introduce Jong Sun's paintings. Interestingly, he painted every day. And here's one of Jong Son's paintings. Then I will introduce Yun Du So's paintings. Yun Du So was the was Yun Du So devoted his life to painting and studying Confucianism. He was from the Joseon period. And here's one of his paintings. And then there is Xin Yun Bok's paintings too. He was a painter from the Joseon dynasty too. He was the son of a royal court painter named Han Pyeong. He depicted both townspeople and Gi Seng. There was a difference between Kim Hong Do's painting subjects and Shin Yun Bok's painting subjects. Um, Kim Hong Do liked to depict peasants, and Shin Yun Bok's paintings were more of townspeople and Gin Seng. Gin Gi Seng. And here is Shin Yun Bok's painting. And now I want to introduce my own paintings. In my paintings, I like to mix the Japanese mythology with the Korean style. One myth is the myth of the tea house and another myth is the myth of the bathhouse. I'm also interested in the woman's iconic hairstyles that make you think that it is Korean. In my paintings, I am trying to copy the narrative aspect of these Korean paintings. I like that there is a story behind the paintings. Also, it is interesting to pay attention to the compositions. Also, the landscape is flat and this is interesting to me. They are depictions of daily life. And now I want to introduce my work. And these are some of my Korean folk paintings. And here is my first work. Um, it's about Korean woman in a bathhouse. And here is another work. Um, another woman in a bathhouse. 